Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First, I want to thank everyone who subscribed, liked and shared our last video on how to use the new Bamboo Studio text tool. It got us to over a thousand subscribers and I am totally bar clamped. One question that came out of the text tool video was how do we get the highest quality text printed on our objects? Text is always the toughest thing to print and I've never seen a good video explaining how to do that well. So let's dive into it and begin experimenting. There's a lot of settings we can change that affect the quality of our prints. Today we're going to look at some of them and test them out on some difficult prints. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to create a rectangular container to act as the surface we'll put our text on. Right click and create a new cube primitive. Let's scale it so that it's relatively flat but still has a bit of depth since we're going to be testing embedded text in one of our test samples. Let's make it wide enough to accommodate decently sized text. Next, making sure our cube is selected, let's click on the text tool and find the most difficult font we can see on the list. This one here seems very thin and has a lot of features that probably won't print right. I heard the French can be difficult, so this is the perfect subject to test with. Let's see how good we can get it. Let's write our text and size it to fit nicely into our cube. Next, let's do a slice to see what we're dealing with here. Ugh, what a mess. You can barely see the lines, much less the actual text. Let's go back to the prepare tab and see what we can do. Let's begin by cloning this cube. I'll rename the first one to be the control which will be the one that we don't tweak. We'll compare the final output to this one. We'll rename the new one to improved so that we know which one we tweaked. Let's choose our text object and go down to the quality tab. We'll change on the line width properties to be 0.25. This gets us close to the max quality on this print head. Let's check the preview to see how just changing the line properties helps us. You can see there's a massive improvement. We're now able to see the lines much better and can make out the letters. But we can do better. Let's stay in this view and start tweaking some more. Let's begin by changing wall loops to 4 and turning on detect thin walls. If we do another slice here, we can see a huge improvement. I think these properties alone will get us most of the way there. But let's continue tweaking a bit more. Some of these properties apply more to the detailed objects rather than text, but it's good to know what properties affect your prints. Let's change the top surface pattern to rectilinear and the number of layers to 6. I don't think this will change much. But let's change the bottom layers to 6 as well. Moving down, let's change the infill density to 80% and the pattern to rectilinear as well. Changing these from grid to, might be moot, but it seems like rectilinear has a tighter pattern. Let me know in the comments if that's the wrong assumption. Now from here, we can do two more things that will affect our quality. The first is speed. I'm going to lower all the speed properties to around half of what they currently are, give or take. This will let the printhead slow down while extruding the text, giving us more quality. The next one applies to the whole plate, so let's go back to the global settings and change the layer height to 0.12. That takes care of this text example. Now let's create a new version of the original cube. Instead of having the text extruded, we're going to embed the text within the cube. This is going to be for those times where you want to monogram something onto an object. We'll clone the original cube and move it to the side. Next, we go back to the text tool while having our text selected and we'll change from part to modifier. 
that will make the cube surface take on the properties of the modifier. In our case, we're going to duplicate what we did to our improved version. So let's choose the improved version and clone that one. Let's make the same change from part to modifier and see our results after slicing. You can see the difference in quality here. Let's go ahead and do a print and see how our samples come out. As we see here, we got some great detail in our raised text version. I mean, compare that to the default print properties and it's night and day. You can clearly see the fine lines and all the details. In the default version, there's missing lines and you can't even tell what the word is. In the engraved version, the difference is clear as well. And one problem with this print is the fact that the colors do not contrast very well and some of the printing artifacts on the top surface also hide some of the details from the optimized version. In the default version, we have channels for the text that don't even seem filled in. While the optimized version is good and would benefit from better color choices, I think we could do better. Let's go back to Bamboo Studio and see what we can do. If we look at the layers, we see that there's only five or six layers of the color text at the top. And it's very thin, as we know, so by the time it gets to the topmost layer, the surrounding surfaces are going to start overlaying the text. It kind of swallows it. The easiest thing we can do here is to make the text slightly thicker. One way to do that is to use the bold feature in the text tool. Let's turn that on. Another thing we can do, since the text isn't raised, is we can print this face down to have the most quality that we can have. Let's turn off the other models to keep them from printing and rotate our model to have the text be face down on the build plate. I'm also going to change the bottom surface layers to be the same as we had for the top surface. I'm also going to increase the infill on the gray cube as well to give the text some additional support. It's probably not necessary, but it seemed like it could use it. Now, let's give this a test print and see how it looks. I wasn't convinced about the color combination, so I decided to do something with a bit more contrast. Still, you can see that the ones that I printed face down don't look as sharp as the ones printed face up. I think that's due to having the textured build plate, since the greeniness of the print surface makes it look blurry. The text printed on the top surface seems much sharper, and in this version using higher contrast text, you can see a lot of the details. Now that we've gone through all the properties that will make our text look sharp, we should be able to get some high quality text in our prints going forward. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. See you next time on the Custom Corner.